Good evening, Death Star. Tonight, a special report on the controversial attack on Alderaan. While some view the attack as unwarranted, the Empire has obtained proof that Alderaan was in possession of weapons of mass destruction. And now let's go to our five-day forecast. What's the weather like, Ollie? Space weather! Thanks, Ollie. Coming up, we'll give you the road closures for this week's Ewok Pride Parade. Stay with us. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker with Channel 5 News. We now go live to Ollie Williams recapping the events of the last episode of Family Guy. What happened last time, Ollie? Stewie killed Lois! Then what? Peter got blamed! Then what? Peter went to court! Then what? Lois came back! How? Wasn't really dead! Thanks, Ollie. And now part two. We interrupt this program to bring you a special message from the new president of the world. Greetings, loyal minions. <gasps> Stewie? Oh, my God! What the hell? Good gravy! A Channel 5 News special report. A flash flood warning is in effect as rain continues to pound Rhode Island. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's gonna tell us all about the rain. Tom, residents all over Quahog have been affected by the heavy rains, although some are doing their best to ride it out. In local news, we have more on the approach of Hurricane RuPaul, which is working his or her way up the coast. Let's go live to Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather Report. Ollie? It's raining sideways! Sounds rough, Ollie. Do you have an umbrella? Had one! Where is it? Inside out, two miles away! Is there anything we can do for you? Bring me some soup! What kind? Chunky! All right, we'll get on that. Coming up next, a pig who refuses to eat Jews? After this. Good evening, everyone. Our top story, marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Good evening, I'm Diane Simmons. In traffic news, heavy gridlock on the 195 interchange. We now go live to Drunk Billy in the Channel 5 newscopter. This just in, Channel 5 newscopter pilot Drunk Billy passed away today. In anticipation of this event, we put together a clip package featuring some of Billy's work for Channel 5 News. <laughs> This is Tom Tucker with some breaking news. NASA has made the alarming announcement that the newly discovered black hole at the edge of our solar system appears to be expanding. Neptune and Pluto have already been consumed, and scientists estimate that the event horizon will reach Earth by tomorrow. That's right, Tom, which means that all life on Earth will be destroyed within 24 hours. Oh, my God! Mom, is, is this for real? Well, it sure looks that way, sweetie. Three, two, one... April Fools! What? You gotta be kidding me! We're not gonna die? Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Diane can't be with us today. Where is Diane, Ollie? She did! Thanks, Ollie. Yes, Diane is no longer with us. She was shot by an unknown assailant after she herself committed a series of gruesome murders. I'd like to welcome our new co-anchor, Joyce Kinney. Welcome, Joyce. Thanks, Tom. Wow, you sound crazy nervous. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. But it seems pornography has finally found its way to our neighborhood. Yes, local housewife and church organist Lois Griffin has revealed to this reporter that she appeared in a pornographic movie back in the early 1980s. What? Mom, that's you! <laughs> Boy, that black bar would be a lot lower now, huh? 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 Would it not? We interrupt this program because I have had kind of a crap day and I know all the station passwords to do it. So smell that finger, Quahog. Okay, our top story tonight. A local car dealer has announced a hands-on-a-hard-body promotion in which a used dirt bike will be awarded to the one customer who can successfully outlast his competitors. And, and in other news, they're bringing back passions. Yes, they are! But first, Quahog was hit by a major blizzard last night. Here with more details on the snowstorm is Asian correspondent Trisha Nakahoma. That's wrong. That's wrong. You're not doing good so far. I'm standing here surrounded by snowdrifts, stalled cars, and the one douchebag who wears a tank top every time there's a blizzard. Yeah, this is nothing. Guy at work drank a quart of motor oil once and didn't even die from it. Put that on the news, but you won't. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and the reason I'm wearing this mask is because we've got a Make-A-Wish kid in the studio tonight, who, as you'll find out as the show goes on, is quite a coffer. In local news, Mayor West signed a bill today. <coughs> See, that's, that's what I was talking about. <coughs> 
Are we going to get that, or are we going to wait for commercial? No, no, you have to spray it. You can't just wipe... You know what? Let's just throw the whole camera out. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, Quahog, is now completely government-free, which means I'm free of all broadcast regulations. So no more trips to the bathroom for this reporter, just a big-ass coffee can under the desk. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. It's day five of the new governmentless Quahog, and I'm wearing a T-shirt. Tom, I don't think the government was requiring you to wear a suit. Well, they were stopping me from punching you in the face. Is that what you want? No, you know what? You know what? Give me your wallet. What? You heard me. I said, give me your wallet. This is a crappy wallet. You have bad stuff. Good evening, Billingsbury. I'm Clive Crowley. Coming up, a man with a gun and two bullets has taken over the city of Manchester. But first, our top story tonight, Her Majesty the Queen will be passing through our very town tomorrow. With details, we now go live to Indian reporter Trisha Dasgupta. Oh, my golly, there is much commotion. Thank you, Trisha.